days ago I trimmed off all my natural all my natural hair all my relaxer on the ends of my hair as you guys know last year I was relaxed and then I found out I was pregnant then I stopped relaxing about December so this is about 10 months growth um, and I was tired of the straggly ends I've been natural before for years um, but I get bored so quickly and now I'm Okay guys, so a lot of you follow me on Snapchat and um, for me, I'm like, yeah, being natural is cool, whatever, but every time like, you know, you see me on social media, I'm normally done up and got like a nice little weave or something of the sort. Anyway, so um, on my Snapchat, I was having a discussion with everyone and I was like, you know guys, I want to do um, a video on confidence and um, I'm thinking of doing it, you know, with my natural fro, my natural face, and everyone was like, yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I'm like, hey, why not? Like, at the end of the day, I think confidence is super important. And I've been receiving a lot of messages recently in my DMs on Instagram, as well as Snapchat, um, from young women that aren't feeling confident, and you know, maybe it's about how they look, their hair type, um, or their weight, or you know, their dress sense, and you know, it's a shame really. So today I'm here to encourage y'all. Yes, I feel extremely confident, bare-faced and natural-haired in an afro, because why shouldn't I? At the end of the day, I feel that if I felt my confident est, if that's even a word, <laughs> with makeup and weave that I wouldn't be crediting God. Do you know what I mean? Um, I wanna give God all credit because at the end of the day, he made me to look like me. And for that reason, I'm confident. Not because I'm necessarily pretty or beautiful or have the best skin or the best hair, but because I'm unique, because there's only me. I'm the only person that could be swade. No one else could be me. People may imitate, but no one else could be me. And because of that, I think that's the root of my confidence. Before I was even um, born again spirit-filled, I always had been confident, and I feel that like that might be because of the way I was brought up. My mum never ever made me feel insecure. She never necessarily made me feel like, oh, you're extremely beautiful or nothing like that. But she always kind of made me feel that it was good to be yourself. And for that reason, I never wanted to copy anybody. I always wanted to be swade. And it's so funny because growing up, I remember I used to Google my name and I couldn't find anyone else with the name, even though I know that there is people with that name in Nigeria, but it's really like a rare name. And um, Swade means nothing is like, and that means unique. And, you know, that's always kind of been like for me, you know, people say like your name is, um, the meaning of your name is what you become, people say, or whatever. Like, I feel that I've always had that stance, not because I knew what my name was, but just because I've always just felt unique. I've always felt chosen. I've always felt like no one else. And I feel like that's how we should all feel because the truth is that we are all unique. We are all like no one else. And it's a shame really that people, you know, feel that it's kind of like who's got the best weave, who's got the best foundation or the sickest highlight and contour. Because honestly, that's not what it's about. It's about who, who, who can walk with their head up while they have none of that on. Because to me, I just feel like weaves and you know, even single plaits, long extension, long braids, laid baby edges. When I know that I ain't got baby hairs like that, all of that stuff. To me, it's like it's a part of makeup. It's fun. It's almost like, yeah, I want to do this today. I want to, you know, feel a little bit different today. I can do that. But at the pit of it all, I know that this is me. 
this is me, this is Swade, this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning, well not necessarily the afro, but when I wake up in the morning and I've washed my face, this is what Swade looks like and I don't have a problem with that. I like what I see when I look in the mirror and there's a mirror right here and I'm looking at and I'm, don't get me wrong, there is things that I wish like, oh sometimes I don't wish I had a sport or I wish my skin was more one tone or whatnot. but the reality is that, so what? Like, the reality is nobody is perfect and the wickedest thing is that the person that you look at that you think is so beautiful may have had an insecurity or may still have an insecurity and the thing that you find so beautiful about somebody else is the thing that that person might find themselves as a flaw. So it's just a shame really that this society is just so fickle. It changes. One minute everyone wants to be thick, the next minute everyone wants to be thin. One minute everyone wants boobs, the next minute everyone wants a bum. One minute everyone wants long hair, the next minute everyone's going for short hair. Like, you know, the trends, they change so often and what society and media says is, changes every day. So there's no point of trying to keep up with the Joneses and I don't mean us as in me and EJ, I mean the Joneses as in everybody. It's too hard and it's long and it's like, for what? Man's approval. Like, man's approval is not good enough because, you know, the reality is tomorrow, God forbid, when we pass away, like, man's approval won't make a difference. Like, you know, like, we have to live for a high, like, for something more. Do you know what I mean? And it's not just about, like, how we look and all that stuff. I just feel like genuinely in life, confidence is a skill. It's It can be taught through life experiences, through the way people speak to you, your parents, your peers, but the reality is ultimately it's a skill that we have to teach ourselves. And I just feel like throughout my life, like, you know, I always knew that sitting upright is, is, is it's a part of being confident walking with your head up it's a part of being confident so when people see me they think like oh so they before you've even spoken like yeah you're confident but it's not because i've said oh yeah i'm confident it's because of the way i i i, I literally my persona the way i keep myself because at the end of the day i just think like i know my self-worth and my self-value and i feel like self-worth and self-value goes hand in hand with confidence at the end of the day now that I'm saved, I've got even better confidence because I know that I'm great and I know that I've made in God's image. If that's the case, guys, come on, I'm special. I am special. God is like the specialist of special. If I'm made in his image, then I am special, literally. And we're all made in his image, so we're all super, 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 super special, literally. At the end of the day, I just feel as well like you become what you think. So all my ladies out there that are feeling insecure, whether it be because, I don't know, your hair, your face, your skin, your features, your body size. Guys, y'all know I'm thicker than a snicker. Like, I'm still trying to get rid of my baby belly. I'm still trying to get my stomach tight. Like, I'm not even putting in as much work as I, as I should. But in the state I am in right now, I am confident. I am confident that I can do better and be better. And I'm confident that I can change it. And I'm confident confident in the results that I will get will be good and I'm confident that this is part of my journey and part of my transition do you understand like I don't feel like how I look right now or the weight that I have is my be all and end all I know that it can be changed and it's so funny because talking about that the other day one of my followers um kind of came at me on my snapchat dms and um she didn't like she posted something and I thought was quite um passive aggressive and a bit derogatory she didn't like that i posted it on my um story and she kind of came at me and she was throwing all types of insults all types of insults all types of insults and i just felt like it's a shame really because hurt people hurt people but you can't hurt me because all her white words were like insults about my parents you know like saying oh change your nose and lose weight and you look older than your husband and i was like my thing is this i'm not insecure about my nose i'm not insecure about my weight i'm not insecure if i do look older than my husband at the end of the day is he loves me i love me i know i can change my weight and i know i've got a fleeky nose i love my nose and i get compliments about my nose all the time so i'm like it's a shame that people push their own insecurities onto other people. Not a word she said penetrated me. It actually made me feel sorry for her because I was thinking, you know, you've spent your time and followed me. 
and you know tried to compliment me even though it wasn't a compliment um she said to me um i had a, i think it was a picture or a video up with myself and nova my daughter for those of you that are new to the channel hey but yeah um and she said oh um she's prettier than you swords and i was just like oh the reality is that who doesn't want their children to be better looking than them like come on and my daughter got gorgeous so i'm like is that a compliment like that's passive aggressive and i'm like how is that a compliment i don't understand like if you want to say my daughter's pretty just say she's pretty why does she have to be prettier than me or prettier than a or prettier than b like just let a compliment be a compliment so i was just like you know what is that like that and people actually messaged me and i was like no why do people say things like that like why would you make a comparison between mother and daughter and i was like the thing is my daughter's a baby i'm a grown woman like i don't expect us to look some look like in in comparison do you understand what i'm saying but i'm like i want her to grow up and be way beautiful than me because that's my seed she's come from me she's a reflection of me and anyway, she went off on me as i said and you know in the end of it i blocked the girl but I just deeped it and I was just like, this is what this generation is, like, you know, as soon as someone says they don't like something, people want to attack you and even when you attack me, you come down on me about how I look and I'm like, you got the wrong one because everything you've just said hasn't changed my life and that's the shame of it all, that maybe in, she thought, like, I'm into, I'm not, and nothing she said and that's what I want to say to everyone, like, people that go around disrespecting you about your physical appearance, Dust your shoulders off, literally. Dust it off because you're beautiful. And the thing is, as well, like I've never walked on the street and seen someone that looks exactly like me. So I must be like amazing. I must be unique. I must, I must be significant. And all of you must be too. I'm just tired of us letting our confidence lay in other people's hands. At the end of the day, like as I said on my Snapchat. Who made the, the 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 boundaries or guidelines to beauty, please? I'm still waiting to find out. Who writ what beauty is? Please. I'm tired of people writing goals under people's pictures of, um, you know, a filtered picture or a picture that's been edited or cropped. And the thing is, really, is sometimes I edit my pictures. And when I say edit them, I don't change my face or change my body. But you might want your light to bounce off hair. And, you know, people do that. Perfect your pictures, fix the lighting, and it makes you look better or makes your skin smoother. At the end of the day, but it's like perfection to who? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, our perfection should lie in our own hands and confidence guys, stop comparing yourself to other people, everyone's got flaws, everyone's got, got imperfections, but let your imperfections be perfect to you, do you understand what I'm saying, like when I look at myself and I see like, I don't know, what did I used to not like, um, I've, I've got short lashes, yeah, I've got like, my lashes look like they were trimmed even, <laughs> literally, like, I, nest, I, did, I would look at other people's lashes and be like, oh, her lashes are so beautiful. But the reality is that God didn't give me that. And maybe he didn't want me to have that for a reason. But when I look at my lashes now, I'm like, yeah, but they got a curl pattern and my lashes are thick and they are. And that's the thing, like find stuff to compliment yourself with. Everyone that's feeling a, bit com um, a little bit unconfident right now, I want to tell you confidence is a skill that you can learn. And with that skill that you're going to learn, literally every day you need to be telling yourself i am what are you i am beautiful i am pretty i am strong my hair is beautiful my hair is your hair your curl pattern i hear too many girls even my clients they'll be like oh but i don't know how to deal with my hair can i just wear wigs i just wear wigs like my hair is too strong it's too curly it's too hard man and i'm just like guys this hair is to die for be confident look at the way my hair's standing like and my hair's not hard my hair is quite soft like i can run my fingers through my hair don't get me wrong i can but my thing is like come on like this is our hair like embrace it love it stop like letting your confidence lie under a wig if you are somebody that wears wigs and weaves and it's just because you like the change like myself then feel free but then people that don't ever want to show their hair because 
um, they don't they don't like their natural hair, they don't like how they look, or you know, I look like I'm 10 when I'm natural. I'm like, guys, come on, this is what God gave us. He gave it to us for a reason. If anyone else can rock it, we can rock it. Our melanin is beautiful, our curls is beautiful, our body shapes, whether slim, thick, anything, it's beautiful. And at the end of the day, there's someone else somewhere that is looking at you and loves and envies you, and maybe not envy in a bad way maybe not envy is the word but someone that looks up to you or thinks you're so gorgeous and to me like come on wake up wake up there's people that will die to look like you and you just need to stare in the mirror and start telling yourself what you are i have beautiful lips i have a beautiful long neck i'm chocolate skinned and it's beautiful my eyebrows are gorgeous like you know when I walk, I walk with my head up because I am somebody. The thing is, well, yeah, confidence attracts people, you know? Like, confidence makes people want to be around you, makes people want to be your friend, makes people want to, you know, rub shoulders with you. And at the end of the day, that that's good. That's good. That means that, you know, people want to be around you for positivity. Being confident is positive. Positivity takes you far in life. And you know, a lot, a lot of people in this generation, because of their confidence, it gives them boldness to step forward. And they're doing things that other people that have the actual skill to do it can't do do you understand people would actually like for example education people will study and they'll study to have skills to do something and because someone else just has the confidence and the boldness they get that job or they get that opportunity we're seeing it left right and center on on youtube come on guys i just want everyone to be confident i know confident is a skill and I feel like it can be taught so today I just ask everyone to wake up wake up and start teaching yourself confidence and what I want y'all to do hmm, I might do like a confidence video every so often um I'll be recording like my hair journey and stuff I know some of you are going to probably ask me about it on my own personal channel um I did record my big chop and I'll talk about my hair journey but all on that channel but on this channel guys you know nothing but positivity so yeah I want you guys to write below something about yourself that you love and if it's if there is things that you criticize about yourself I want you to stop criticizing yourself and start talking positivity so um I don't know what did I used to talk I don't think what I used to talk negative about maybe myself oh I never used to really like the skin on my hands but I get told left right and center that I've got lady hands and I'll be like really but now I'm just like I've got pretty hands like I've grown to love my hands like like literally I'm like no they're pretty like you know like I got lady hands like hey like I'll be all like when I get my nails I'm like mm, all up in your faces with my hands like at the end of the day these are Swade's hands and this is all I'm gonna have as hands so I have to love them embrace them and walk with my head high and talk with my hands because they're my hands everyone right below something that they love about themselves and something that they're gonna start affirming to love what they've been disregarding about themselves so I want to see um, I love my elbows <laughs> I don't know and I'm going to start saying that my boobs are beautiful and perky. I don't know. Get my gist? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I really wanted to encourage you guys because, as I said, I get a lot of DMs. And I know this is something that I can inspire others with confidence because I've got enough of it to give. But God gave it to me and I'm giving it to you guys okay so anyway guys i love you tell me what you think about this video and if you want to see more rate comment and subscribe follow me on my snapchat because i definitely talk to you guys all day long and um, follow my instagram and yeah have a good day guys love you